Hey guys, it's June from Illustrator How and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about two ways to add text in Adobe Illustrator. It's super easy. As you know, there are two types of text in Adobe Illustrator, the point type and area type. I'll quickly go over the method. So yeah, you, if you like my channel and you like my tutorial, make sure to give me a thumb up and uh, hit the subscribe button so then you don't miss my future tutorials. Okay, so the first method I will talk about is how to add a point type. So I'm going to go ahead and select the type tool and then simply click on your artboard and you will see some learn ipsum dummy text and then you'll be able to replace the text directly. So I'm just going to say hello <laughs> and there you go. You have added the text to Adobe Illustrator using this method. Um, other than the um, type tool, you can also choose type on the path, uh, horizontal type, vertical type. I mean, well, the default is horizontal type and you can also choose the vertical type tool and with the same method, simply just click on your artboard and you will see the text If I type. It's going to show horizontally, I mean vertically, I always just miss up this. And um, yeah, if you click the exit button and you can resize, edit the text, change the font or do anything. Basically, you can change the font from the characters panel something like hello same thing with the other ones this is how you add text and um, in this method i would say it's easier if you are working with short text since you can also edit it like kind of like object so you can rotate it like this well it's getting crazy resize it however you want okay then i'm going to show you the example of a uh, area type and which you cannot do it like that. Okay, so let's go into method two. Okay, so method two is error type. Same thing, you will be selecting the type tool. Instead of just clicking on your artboard, you will be creating a text box. So click and drag on your artboard with the type tool selected, remember? And same thing, you will also see some Lauren Ipsum dummy text which you can replace or I mean, if you don't want to manually type in your paragraph, you can uh, just copy the text from somewhere else and then place it. Well, I basically just copy the same text. So, well, just to show you an example. And then what I was talking about earlier that you cannot kind of uh, edit the text as freely as a point type. So if you just um, go to the selection tool, I just use a keyboard shortcut V. And if you, for example, if you just rotate the text, it's not rotating the text box. Instead, it's rotating, I mean, kind of making it super random. It wouldn't work that way. And if you resize the text box, resize the area text instead of the, the text size itself. So yeah, so here's the difference. Okay, so don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that uh, which one is better or which one is worse. In most cases, we will use two methods together depending on the content you are creating. So if you are making, like if you want to play with the text, I mean, adding effects or anything, usually we will use the point type so then you can easily manipulate the text and let's say create outlines and such or uh, just make any text effect, which um, I will talk about in the text effect uh, tutorials as well. Yeah, let's see a combination. Let's say I want to make a title of something. Um, Happy New Year. And then I'm going to use, instead of a point type, I'm going to use an error type. And then I'm going to write a bunch of like, uh, hope you have a great year, blah, blah, blah. Something like that. I'm going to keep um, just uh, pasting the dummy text. I'm going to select these and change a font to like a body text. So basically you can understand it. I mean, I'm pretty sure you already work with Word document or anything. So basically I would say that the point type is mostly like used as the title, let's say, and then the area type is more like the body text. So yeah, hopefully you get a better understanding of um, how to add text in Adobe Illustrator and when to use which method. And if you like my tutorial, make sure to give me a thumb up. I will be really appreciated. And if you miss any step in this tutorial or um, find anything that isn't that clear, or if you have any doubt, I do have a written tutorial as well on my blog where you can find more details and more beginner oriented content. 
on how to add text in Adobe Illustrator along with some tips. So if you want to check that out, you can find the link in the description below.